Welcome back to another video then, and we are going to move on to the next stage in our Getting Newbies Into The Air series. And we're going to focus on the DJI 04 Pro Air unit first of all. So, I've got the Speedy Bee Master here, and I've got a brand new 04 Pro here, which uh, I had to sell my second born child to find. Believe it or not, even in the UK these are becoming ridiculously rare now. Uh, no idea why I've got a knife, because you don't actually need a knife for this. But it'll look good on camera. Okay, so, what we're going to do first of all is just remove it from the box. Now, what will generally happen with the majority of quads that you get is they'll come with the 04 already attached and plugged in. But if you go down the route of sourcing your own, you are going to need to follow these steps. Now, a lot of quads coming from certain manufacturers will already be pre-activated, but there's plenty that are not. So we're going to assume that you've received the quad and it's not already been activated and this is what we're going to do. So whether it be a brand new one that you're installing yourself or not, it's the same process. Now this is the cable that comes in the box but we don't need that because with this B2B Master we've actually already got one built into it. So first things first, we just need to plug it in. A couple of things need to happen. Let me start recording my screen. Oh, I am recording my screen. Okay, so you're going to need to download and install a program called DJI Assistant Consumer Drone Series 2. There's just to make it a little bit more confusing, and I will add a link in the description down below, but just to make it a little bit more confusing, there is also a DJI Assistant 2. And if you download that, it won't work. So it does have to be the one that says Consumer Drone Series in brackets at the end. Now, back of this Mario, no, back of this master, plug it into the USB. No, see, I've done it again, I've done it again. You plug this into the air unit, because that's what we're going to be updating. You'll notice the eagle-eyed amongst you that I haven't actually plugged in a lipo. And I'm going to show you what happens when you don't plug a lipo in and you're trying to activate an O4. And there we go. Now, what you can see here is... DJI 04 Air Unit Pro. Now I know this is not activated and you know this is not activated because I have just literally taken it out of the box. So I'm going to upgrade the firmware. But it's still not activated. So what you have to do is a slightly different process. So we're going to let it update and up up upgrade the firmware. And I'm going to come back to you in a second and show you how you need to activate it because it is a different process. Then we'll grab the goggles, we'll buy in the goggles, and I'll show you a few settings that I use, but just bear in mind the settings that I use are going to be different depending upon what type of day it is and all that sort of jazz. But I'll, I'll show you roughly how to get in the ballpark of the settings that I use. So let's just wait. So now we're back in here and we still not got an activation pop up. Now I know it's not activated, but it's not telling me that it's not activated. Let me show you what we do. We plug in a lipo, make sure you take your props off. And then we plug the USB back in to the, 04, to the 04 Air unit. So you can see we plugged in here to the 04, to the PC, but we've got a LiPo in this time. And now when we press the 04, it says activate device, start activation. You'll need to have already registered with DJI and obviously downloaded this consumer drone series. When you download this consumer drone series uh, assistant, it will ask you to, to sign in. If you don't have a sign in you can then create one just confirm your account and that's it it's done it's activated but there is still another step that you need to do with your goggles you are going to need a USB-C to USB-C because you're going to have to plug it into your phone believe it or not to do the final part of the activation and go into DJI Fly which is a bit of a pain to be fair but I'm going to stop this here because we've done everything we need to do on the PC we'll go and grab the goggles and we'll go and finish off the rest of this. The next part then of this is going to be binding your goggles to your air unit and you're going to need a lipo and you're going to need some sort of tool in order to press the bind button on the side of the 04 Pro. Luckily, handily, GEPRC have these really cool, they're almost like sim tools and if we look around here onto the side of the air unit we can see there it says bind. Now we can't bind it yet because we haven't got a battery in. So we're just going to power it on. Remember, do this with props off if you can. If you do it on a Pavel 20 Pro, you're pretty much okay. I 
I'd say, but uh, the official answer will always be props off. Now, you can see we've got a red light on there, and we need to make that red light blink, and all we do is we just push this in really gently. There's a little rubber grommet in there, and it starts going into bind mode. So I'll move that out of the way a second, in fact. Let's not move it out of the way too much, because we want to be able to see as it changes. Can we see that? Yeah, we can just about see that. Now then, on the side of the goggles, the goggles are powered on. Your power button is underneath here. And what you need to do is hold that power button down. So don't push it and hold it. Don't press once and hold it. Just hold. And as you hold, it'll start to beep. And if you watch the red light on here, it's turned green. And that means we're now bound. We can possibly not see it from here, but there is one more thing that you need to do. And that one more thing that you need to do is, if you look through the goggles now, and it's really hard to show you, but trust me, it's there. On the bottom right, and you only have to do this once, but on the bottom right of your goggles, it will say, connect to DJI Fly to fly outdoors. And until then, it'll hold it in a bit of a lower power mode. And all you need to do, say not now to that, all you need to do, if I just move these a little bit out of the way, so you should be able to, to see that, is you plug a USB into your phone and you plug a USB into the goggles here. Give it a second. Now it's changed to this screen, which means we basically just press connection guide and then in the top right, just press camera view. And that is now our camera view. What I am going to show you is some of the settings that I would recommend. Okay, so if you push up on the D-pad on top of the goggles, I'll try and show you that there. So if you just push that forward, that brings up a little panel down the bottom. Now it's currently, because it's brand new, set to auto mode, and we're going to change that to manual mode. Everything else is still set to auto, so if you was to do nothing else, you'd still essentially be in auto mode. But our ISO, we want to be as close to 100 as we can. Our shutter speed, we want to be as close to 1 over 120 as we can. And this will become apparent in a second. Our white balance, if we leave it on auto, it's going to keep changing it as we fly in through different things. And it just looks really, really terrible. My advice is 56,000K. The aspect ratio, I would suggest, say, change to 69 and then the video quality I have set to 4k 60. I set it to ultra wide and then I set this in fact add stability in my opinion it makes it easier makes your footage look better and change it to D log M and then put this back down to 100. However if you're not ready to start color grading you can leave that at normal. You'll still get nice footage it won't be as uh, color gradable so just bear that in mind now as we can see that's really really dark but there we go so if we point it up to the light that's above us we can actually see that in a light source it's actually going to be okay it looks quite dark in here because the rest of the studio is obviously dark apart from the bits that we illuminate just to give it that uh, cinematic effect sometimes not always and we still got the uh, the clear stuff on the front of the the camera to protect it as well and that is exactly the same process whether you've bought an 04 pro yourself or like this whether you've got one that's already got one in it when you buy it it doesn't matter it's the same process so you need dji assistant to consumer drone series you must always have a lipo in the drone when activating it that's a one-time thing and also plugging it into your phone plugging your goggles into your phone when the drone is turned on is also a one-time thing as well once you've done it for the first time you don't need to do it again but that is how you would activate and bind a brand new DJI 04 Pro Air unit. I hope somebody somewhere finds this video useful. If you have found it useful, please do drop a comment and uh, share it with somebody else who may also find it useful. But until next time, you've all been amazing. Thank you for your time. Peace out. YouTube and I have had a chat and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most. So watch it and let me know if they're right.